Hi there. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Honor 8 smartphone. This is the new flagship device from the Honor brand, Honor, a subsidiary of a Huawei. Uh, if you didn't realize that, then uh, that is who they are. And to start off with, we have ourselves a pretty sleek and stylish retail packaging with this uh, embossed and shiny Honor 8 logo. And the only real branding on the back is a few little markers to show some of the features and they're powered by Huawei. For those who didn't know, that is who makes the Honor brand. So without further ado, let's open this up. We've got ourselves the interesting uh, box layout here. The phone itself sliding in like this kind of letterbox style. Um, obviously, normally there would be a bunch of stickers and screen protective films over it. This is a pre-release model we got sent. Um, the phone has just been released, um, but this pre-release model we got sent didn't have any of the retail uh, plastic packaging. So just putting that to one side for a moment, we can slide out here, and this retail packaging has two slots in it. The first one just has the SIM ejector tool it comes in there with a little handy motion if you didn't know that you've got to pop it in that hole to pop out the, pin, the SIM tray. And in here is where you will find the charger and cable. So we got our hands on a pre-release EU model, obviously the stock that Clove sell will have a UK 3-pin type G charger in the box. This is an EU one uh, for all of our European friends, that's the stock you'll get if you order locally. And in here is a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. Uh, the phone itself, as we'll see when we take a closer look at it, has the new USB Type-C connector. Uh, mention that SIM tray. And just pop open here. So this is a dual SIM phone. And it is a dual nano SIM, so you can have SIM 1 and SIM 2. You can also use a memory card, but if you use a memory card, you will forego the use of the second SIM. So it's dual SIM, but only if you take away the micro SD capabilities. There's a slight caveat there. Now, those looking at the phone, looking at the design around the sleek edges here, the uh, aluminium alloy trim, very iPhone-esque. Um, I think that's that's probably the best way to say it. I think that's where they've got their inspiration from. The antenna lines, the grills on the base here for the uh, headphone port. Of course, no headphone port on the new iPhones, but there were on the last generation. Speaker grills, everything gives off a, a pretty sleek iPhone-esque look to it. Um, this is the white model, as you can see. There are two other colors. There is a forest blue, and I can't remember the name for the black, but there is a black version as well. Uh, the forest blue is in stock right now, if you're watching this video as we post it up. The white and the black should be available very, very soon afterwards. Um, and it's a very glossy finish. Um, so you can see here, as the light shines off, this glossy, clear finish. And... Um, this is, uh, this is toughened exterior glass. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually Gorilla Glass branded, but it is a, it is a variant of toughened glass. And I mean, I've, I've taken a good few knocks at these with a few things and they haven't, hasn't scratched up at all. So um, they've, yeah, they've used some premium quality uh, toughened glass. We have the Honor brand. We have our front facing camera and our main speaker. We've already looked at the SIM tray power and volume rockers as you'd expect. On the back is where things get a bit more interesting. We've got a dual 12 megapixel camera. So each one of these is a 12 megapixel sensor. They work in tandem and that gives you uh, a lot more uh, light for any of the pictures. It allows for some interesting software effects that you will be able to use in the camera application on the phone. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of trickery that can be done with, with a dual camera setup. And here is the fingerprint sensor which also doubles as a clickable smart key and on the bottom the honor branding and I'm covering up the army eye sticker there which you can peel off on your own version so that fingerprint sensor can be used to unlock the phone so if I lock up here black within a couple of seconds not even a couple of seconds there we go I'm straight onto the phone so that's that's a really quick sensor just from there to there and it's it's on 
Um, it's, it's as fast as they get. And that clickable button is a smart key which can be used to launch specific apps. So I've not set it up on this test model here, but you can either do a tap or a long press and you will launch certain things. So by default it's set up to launch Google Now, but you can <coughs> excuse me, you can use that to launch any app of your choice, get you into voice search, uh, all sorts. Now the interface that the Honor phones are running is a version of the Huawei Emotion UI, E M U I, uh, which again takes a lot of um, credit from iPhone for its design, but does also include a, a themes manager so you can install completely new themes to change the look and feel so whilst the default setting has a lot of these rounded icons um, and is is very iPhone-esque and even the the message pop-ups you get you can completely change the look and feel of it with just a few taps of the button um, you get all the usual Android applications you get quite a few uh, Huawei slash Honor applications there's a fitness app um, there's a few games installed, there's a few extra stores. Uh, you get quite a lot on here. I, th I think the Honor system, I mean, the Huawei system, is one of the better skins available. It's quick, it's responsive, it's had a lot of iterations of design done on it. Um, yeah, you, you get a lot from it. Um, it's based on Android 6. Uh, whether or not we get Nougat updates, uh, we don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see what Honor do. If there are, I doubt they'd be available until 2017. Um, but there we have it. That, that is the Honor 8. That's the quick unboxing and a quick brief look at the phone. I think it's a really, really nicely designed phone. Um, £370 is the RRP, and that's the current price for one of these phones. And I think we'll, you, you get a lot for your money, and we'll, we'll be posting a full review shortly about the phone. But just on the, on the surface, it's, it's a beautifully designed phone for that money, and um, one of the better-looking Android devices out there, especially under £400. Thanks for watching.